Hello beautiful souls, I am Awakened Soul and today we're going to be reviewing Ethereum and setting it up for our next trade. First thing is, want to start off with the naked chart. So remember when you come into the charts, uh, reset, restart, no emotions, no expectations. Um, turn on your magnet, one touch, two touches. That's going to be our weekly trend line. One touch two touches beautiful i'm gonna go with that so let's say if we were to cross to the downside we're gonna use our pivot highs and lows indicator this would be our highest peak and if we were to cross this trend line right we're gonna place a vertical line here and our target for the weekly would be 11.92 let's go ahead and highlight it so this would be our bearish weekly target if we were to cross to the upside, one touch, two touches, our lowest price action is 1071. We're going to place a vertical line here. And our target would be right where it intersects at 1891. Okay, beautiful. Let's remove all this. So right off the bat, those, that's your bullish and bearish targets for the weekly. Um, we also want to set our range as... We are focusing in in our price action. So that's our resistance for the week. Um, make sure it's orange because orange are weeklies and this is our support. Okay, let's move on to the daily. Within our daily, I, before we begin, I want you to visualize the pattern, the cycle of the charts, every chart. Remember, we have a contraction phase trend down contraction phase trend up contraction phase trend down contraction phase trend up contraction phase trend down contraction phase trend up contraction phase so this whole section here in the daily is a contraction phase so this is where we're going to be focusing on so now that we have our weekly targets, we're going to move into our daily. Within our daily, we're going to set our support and resistance, again, using our pivot highs and lows to give us a good indication. And we're going to be focused at price action. So our next support, we just broke a daily support here at 1542. Our next support will be the same as our weekly support. So this would be a critical support at 1463. And our resistance would be 1677. Sounds about right. Okay. So now we have our day range here. Let's make some trend lines. And because we do have this resistance in the top, we're just going to create a support on the daily. So this would be our daily. One touch, two touches from previous lows. Right? So what would my target be just based on this? Turn on our pivot highs and lows. So one touch, two touches, it broke to the downside. So my highest price action is 1743 right off the bat. Let's mark it. So I expect Ethereum to come down as we are to right here, 1487. 1487 is our um, target right now. Wonderful. Okay, so now that we have our daily target, our daily trend lines, let's move into the four hour. Within the four hour, I want you to just visualize the charts, see if you can find a pattern, mostly focus on where price action is right now. So if we go from this high to this, even this to this. Let's see. Just trying to find something here. And um, my weekly trend lines are green. 
want you to get used to them because sometimes I make videos without my voice. So we have our resistance here. And we could have our support here, like a falling wedge there. Right? Okay, I would use this touch and this touch. The only reason is because I have my daily target that I do see it playing out based on this daily trend line uh, coming down. So I would do a one touch, two touches here. And then it'll give me um, confluence with my daily target to come down here. Beautiful. Hmm. So as you know, falling wedges do break to the upside. So something to consider, something that I've noticed within BTC, a possible falling wedge. So if we measure the flagpole here, Right, let's say we do come to our daily target and bounce off, right? Or even like a double bottom here. We could see 1743. That would be our weekly high in our range. So it's something to, or even come down here. That makes more sense to me, this daily trend line. And that's what I do, you know, I'm trying to focus, this is our weekly trend line, so we could come down all the way to this, fall, playing out this falling wedge, and out of nowhere, bounce to the upside, and get, give us that daily high target at 1683. It also confluents with our weekly support trend line here. So actually I see that it's like a really good potential. And the reason I'm expecting a third pump, I also on BTC. Um, you can visualize it here, right? We have shoulder, head, and shoulder. The market makers like to work in threes. And because they like to work on threes, I do think this is the top for a big major correction. Um, but I do see a third push up. I could be completely wrong and it could just start falling, right? And if it does, it's okay. But um, it's something to consider that we could have that one more push up to fake out everyone. Because if, if you, you think, think about, about it, everyone right now is probably freaking out just because the daily um, higher low was just broken on, more, on most sectors. And, and that's, that's what they, they like to do. They, they like, like to break, break, you know, highs and lows and then just reverse it, right? This is a big daily uh, support that was just broken. So a lot of people are freaking out and that's what they want. As more short, shorts gets induced, right, there's going to be more liquidity to grab. So they're going to start shorting, shorting, shorting. And when they least expect it, that's when they will reverse the, the market. It's just the game of liquidity. You just gotta go with the flow. That's why I always say level to level, one thing at a time. When um, the charts do come to this new contraction phase playing out, that's another thing to be aware of and mindful. So just visualizing it in the four hours right here, right? You have a contraction phase, you have a trend to the upside, contraction, then we move down. We had another contraction here. Then we came back down, a new contraction. So I believe we're in the trend, just starting the trend phase to a new contraction phase down here. And right here, we'll have a new pattern. And this is going to be pretty much the final pattern in my perspective of, okay, are we going to have an upside movement or are we going to just roll to the downside? Okay. So... Something, something to consider. consider okay let me erase this so, so let's, let's say you're just walking in we're here you want to set um how do you like you want to get in right so first thing and most important for me is my 12 and my 26 emas that i do use so just visualizing it on the daily we are bearish right the 12 and the 26 have crossed price action is under the 12 and 26 visualizing it in the four hours we're bearish 
price action is under 12 and 26 EMAs in the one hour so I just start coming down so in the one hour we had a bear flag playing off so let's go ahead and measure this bear flag so the way I measure it is from the break so it broke from here to here so I see uh, 1489 around there close to our daily target of 1487 uh, so it's just another confluence so what I want to do I know it's coming down I want to go into my one hour RSI see where it's at okay 30 minutes turn on my higher high lower low indicator so based on this drop right here and this could be a nice nice support i like to set a range right it just broke this nice support again to the range so i do see a retesting right now it's a great opportunity to re-enter that short on financial advice but if you look at it right we are coming down we know it's coming down we just want the rsi to cool off and for a pattern to have more follow through that's what you want you want to break a support retest break retest break retest and that's how it's going to be coming down as it follows through so right now we're going to have that little push up to the upside um right we're going to probably have that 50 percent we're probably going to go up to 50 percent here perfect and then uh, retest the trend line and then continue to the downside that's what i believe that's what i think of course if we go back up here and start consolidating we could definitely see a possibility to the upside that's also a possibility especially if we break this four hour green trend line so I've set in some alarms so this is my final observation here what i want to do is set a range right this is my low okay this is going to be my high at 50 percent of this wick i'm looking for that retrace okay so pretty much what i'm gonna do is just coming in wait for that retrace wait for that higher low to be made so it can continue to the downside so i want to enter here at my new lower high sorry lower high set my stop loss at previous lower high to continue to the downside and just like we're making pounds to enter a short let's say it goes up here that's fine it's going to come back down go up here so what you want to do if we're along is wait for this support this lower high to break okay wait for it to break have a retest enter at higher lows and then your stop loss should be down here so i hope that helped may the force be with you and remember to do everything with love